the engineer is now the designer. Yeah, I feel so empowered. Hey everyone, we're Hatch Duo. I'm John. I'm Mike. And we're here today to have some fun with some AI. I'm gonna prompt something for Mike, and Mike's gonna prompt something for me, and we're just gonna see what we get. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna have some fun here. <laughs> so the programs we're gonna be using today for your viewing pleasure would be ChatGPT. We're gonna use that to create the prompts for each other. Mike has a preference for using Dolly. Recently, I've had a preference for using Stable Diffusion Midjourney. We're gonna design some shoes today. My favorite basketball team are the Warriors. Why don't we design some Warriors basketball shoes for Steph Curry? I wear shoes. Okay. So I just wrote, pretend you are a designer and write me a very good prompt for Dolly 2 to design a pair of basketball Under Armour shoes for Steph Curry for the year 2050. So it should be a little futuristic, right? Okay, now I have John's prompt and I'm going to see what Dolly gives me. The prompt was too long, so I had to cut the end off. Who makes Steph Curry shoes? Is it Under, Under Armour? Armour. All right. Dolly thinks it's Nike. What I like to do is like if it's giving me weird stuff, you just start correcting it. Okay, it keeps going back to Nike. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Is that the top shot. Under Armour. Is that one? Uh, under, yep. Under Armour. Under Armour brand. And, then, and then click variations. That one with the laceless technology. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's 2050. The engineer is now the designer. Yeah. I feel so empowered. There's a parameter golf tournament coming up. I wanted to have a, uh, a shoe that's specifically designed for Steph Curry. Oh, yeah, he, he golfs too. All right, now I have Mike's <coughs> thing. I'm going to I'm gonna use the journey because it's faster for me. I'm gonna alter his just a little bit because I've worked with it enough times where I kind of know what it's gonna do if I just do it raw. Product shot. I'm gonna delete some of these words. Again, some weights into my prompt. Okay, look, look, this is what this is what I'm getting. Oh, very nice, right? Yeah. I don't know that these are necessarily golf shoes. Some of these look really weird because it's like messing with the shoe. Normally, if we had more time, I would definitely jump in there and like alter some stuff and then plug it back in. I think I got one that I like. Looks like a basketball shoe with spikes on it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I mean, it's a basketball player playing golf, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I actually kind of like these though. See, this is the problem. Now I have like indecision for this guys. Right. Here's our final. So a lot of people ask, what's better, Dolly or Stable Diffusion Midjourney? I think it just depends on how it interprets the prompts. I think both can achieve pretty good results. I've seen really good designers do stuff with Dolly. I've seen ones do it with uh, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion as well. It just really depends on the design. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment down below if you're using AI and which one you're using and what kind of prompts are your favorites. Yeah, and share your techniques. Thank you. Let's, Let's hatch, hatch awesome. awesome. Let's hatch awesome.
right? What's chat GPT again? All right, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't fail me now. Oh, this is we're no exceptionally we're, we're experiencing an exceptionally high demand. Yeah, ChatGPT is very ah. popular right now. Okay, so Dolly is stuck on my screen. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I think I'm in way over my head.